Howdy friends, welcome back to the homestead for the uh, chicken shed project. So far we've gotten the floor framing done, the uh, three exterior walls done, and today I want to focus on the entry area. Um, basically two windows and a door. It's all going to be open ventilation, so not too much going on as far as framing. Let's get started. The plan for this front area, I want to do a 36 inch door. It's, it's definitely a little excessive, but it's going to just make access in here really easy. It is going to swing out. That way I'm not taking up the whole building when I open it. And uh, the windows are going to be just under 24 inches each. And like I said, they're all going to be all mesh, uh, half inch wire mesh. And where we live, it is a Mediterranean uh, climate. So it's Northern California doesn't really get extremely cold. If it does, we can put up some plastic over the windows and doors to somewhat retain heat. I'll show you how to lay out this door area just to make it look even, and then uh, we'll cut and start framing. The entryway to this, uh, like I said, was gonna be 36 inches. So what I'm doing is all, I know my overall length of this thing is eight feet. So I made a mark at uh, four feet center of the building. I'm not buying like a store-bought door or anything like that. I'm going to build my own door. So if you are buying a, a store-bought door, I would figure out uh, the the rough dimensions of it or purchase it and then measure it up. But I'm going to do 36 inch wide door. So I'll, mar I'll measure um, one and a half feet, which will put me right here. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. And then in order to get my bottom plates for the walls, I'll measure from off the wall to that point, and it's 26 and 3 eighths. Let's get some studs cut up and uh, bottom plate, and we'll start putting this together. When I measured this piece, I did measure my sill from uh, wall to wall and then cut it. Don't measure this up here and then cut it. This could be moved and not in the right position. So the best thing to do is measure down there and then put it up here.
So now let's start on the roof structure. So this building is six feet long. This is just gonna be a, a, a lean-to roof here, and it'll be a two and 12 pitch. So what I'll do is I'll measure off the top of the top plate here and make a mark at 12 inches. I'm gonna put a, uh, our four by four going across the top here. What I'm gonna do is measure down three and a half from that mark I just made, and cut this post, and set my uh, four by four on top of that. Don't worry, I won't let these go to waste. But I think that's enough for today. Uh, with a two day old running around, he's not running around at all. With a two day old hanging out around the house and uh, all the cuteness and stuff like that, and plus just the uh, all the good stuff that comes with the newborn, it's kind of difficult to get out here and get too much done. But if I don't get out, then I get a little cranky because I gotta get out and move. On the next video, I think we'll focus on getting the uh, beam up and the joists going. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Dad! What? That's my friend. Yeah, you gotta be quiet when your friend's on. He's listening to Daddy. Me too. Uh -huh.